there, it's me, Mrs. Clark, and I'm making this video to help my students with rotation of objects around the X, Y, and Z axes. You can see on my screen that I have a Tinkercad work plane out, and I've got three pyramids, and each pyramid has a cylinder representing a post through it that represents an axis. So this first pyramid has a a post representing the x-axis. The x-axis runs from left to right across our work plane. Our second pyramid here has a post representing the y-axis that runs toward the front and back of the work plane. The x and the y-axis are both uh, fall on this blue flat work plane. This third axis is the z-axis and the z-axis sticks up out into the air. If you think about that, um, the salute, your thumb represents the z-axis. So it's going up into space and then of course also down into space. And I can show you that really quickly by placing a second work plane on here. So this orange work plane represents the z-axis. This blue edge here is the x axis and the blue edge going back is the y axis so you have y going away from you x going across the screen and z moving up and down so now we're going to go ahead and remove our box and then we're going to rotate these shapes along their axes so we want to rotate this pyramid along its x-axis. That means that this pair, oops, this shape is going to spin or it's going to rotate. This is going to stay still. Okay, so if I wanted to turn this shape around its x-axis or rotate it about its x-axis, I have to grab, I have to, I have to rotate so that I'm looking along that axis and then I can grab the protractor and I can move this shape you can see that it is now rotating around that axis. Okay, that is rotation around the x-axis. Now let's take a look at the y-axis rotation. Okay, I want to look down that axis because I want it to rotate around this axis. And this axis is the y-axis. It's running, if I zoom out, you can see front and back on the work plane. Okay. So I'm going to grab the protractor that allows me to move my shape. Oops. And you go, oh, come on. Sometimes I have trouble grabbing that. Okay. Nope, I thought I had it. There we go. Now I'm rotating this pyramid around its y-axis. The y-axis stays still and the shape moves around the y-axis. Finally, we have our z-axis. As you can see, the post here is running out of the, the x-y plane and into um, the space above and below the x-y plane. So when I want to rotate around that means the center is going to stay still and I'm going to move the shape the base of the shape is going to move around nope oh, that's the wrong direction here we go grab that one up there and you can see now that the shape is rotating around the z-axis line so I have just rotated all of my shapes in space around there x Y and Z axes. I hope this video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.